There's a beautiful sun setting on this cool winter evening, but still very delightful to be out. It's very peaceful in the still of winter. Quite often you'll see little birds flocking to the birch trees. They provide the seeds in the winter, but you can always hear their beautiful music. I love how they dance on the little limbs and make them go up and down like a swing. You don't often see them coming to the feeder. Every now and then something will spook them and off they go. Here and there along the trails you will see little holes, places where little moles and creatures have gone to take cover underneath in the meadow grass. You can see where one has darted in and out. Sometimes there'll be a weasel. So you always have to keep your eyes and ears ready. Sometimes you have to pay attention to the animals. For example, a fox walked through here one day and showed me this is the better way to come through in and out of this trail. So they know sometimes the best way to go. Other times they will follow you because you have provided them with a path through the snow. And here you can see where the coyote has been doing his little trails around through the roadways. Turning everywhere and stopping, looking for his next tasty treat. But you can see where he has gone here and stopped because he sensed that there was something around and of course it's a little trail for a little creature that has crossed the roadway. The little mouse tracks gone in under here. It does not look like he was successful because he didn't leave much digging. And then off he goes back into the hills. The great thing about the evenings is the beautiful patterns in the sky and the clouds. I always love the winter because the skies are bluer. It's just beautiful with the little pinks and sunsets and orange. And this is when it's the quietest. Lots of bird activity today but they've quietened off this evening. There's a partridge in there, or a ruffled grouse. I heard him moving before he saw me. Oh, there's actually a pair. And I don't think the camera's going to pick them up because they're hiding on the fir tree. And you know, once you move, they will fly. Do you hear it making it sound? Oh, there it is in the tree. Once you notice how camouflaged that bird is, and here on the other limb is its mate. They love the birch trees, and they're getting ready to roost for the night. 
They're being very patient with me because usually they will fly. They're very big. They're being fed well. Well, actually, there's more. Oh, if your eyes are very aware, there's two more on the ground. Right in there. There are four partridge. There's two more on the ground. They're very great at camouflaging themselves. But those little movements will show you where they are. See how well that blends in with the grass. But you see the little movement of its head. And the other one still sits in the limb. Now I see two more. There are six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gathering of a flock. One there. And there. And then down behind. And then on the ground. And now, heavens to Betsy, there's another one over here somewhere. There it is. Eight. That's insane. Listen to them. I don't think you can see its head bobbing over there. Not focusing very well, but it's under that tree. I kid you not. This has certainly been a joy to watch. If all of these have babies, there will be many. They sound like chickens on a farm. It's pretty cool. You can hear the tail fluttering, and maybe you can see the movement of the other one over here under the tree going. See it? Number eight. And as you can see by the amount of tracks, we've been having a field day around this area. So that was quite an enjoyable experience. And I hear them fly off together into the big spruce. Very fast, with great speed. Quick as they came, they left. That was awesome. Woodpeckers up in the tree. Well, that was a wonderful walk at dusk. Got to view a nice, beautiful, healthy flock of partridge. Thank you for stopping by, and don't forget, click subscribe, and nature will provide. Until next time.